Hello and welcome to the last Lady Eagles volleyball game here at El Segundo High School. Starting off the game is setter Melanie Palmer with the serve. Number six, Jennifer Stutzel with an aggressive hit to win the first point. Second serve coming from Melanie Palmer. Quick set from number 14, Jillian Kakawa. A nice dink in the middle to win the point. Rally serve. Number 15, Brianna Kakoa with the serve. Nice down ball by Sierra Hunkins, number five. Ooh, seems to be some confusion in the middle of the court between Melanie Palmer and number 17, Miranda Gagne. Next serve coming. Back row pass, Keely Stevenson, number seven. A diving play again by Keely Stevenson. And a set just off the net to number six, Jennifer Stutzel, which lands in the net. Brianna Kakua still with the serve. Down ball by Sierra Hunkins. Quick set, number 14, called in by the linesman. Another serve coming from the Lawndale Cardinals. This one clearly out, good foot. Next serve is coming from number six, Jennifer Stutzel. Nice floater serve to the outside. Just off the fingertips of number 17 and number five of the Lady Eagles. Possession is gained back for the Cardinals. Serve is good. Nice solid serve. Good connection. Jennifer Stutzel with the five ball outside. Now the serve coming from number 10, Maritza Rodriguez. A diving save from number 11, Amanda Eden. And a third ball from the Lady Cardinals right over the net. Lady Eagles cannot convert off of the point. Head coach Rick Arce calls timeout, which leaves the Lady Eagles down two to seven in favor of the Lawndale Cardinals. Today's event is a special one indeed, the traditional senior volleyball game for the three starters, Melanie Palmer, Sierra Hunkins, and Amanda Eden. Number 11, Amanda Eden, who cannot convert off of the bad pass in the back row. Substitution made, Jennifer Stutzel for the new number three, Sean Alum. Serve coming by number 10, Maritza Rodriguez. A high ball, sets the outside with a good deep pass from Keeley Stevenson. And outside. Hit by Keeley Stevenson, which is roofed by the Lady Cardinals. Number 14 and number two with a block. Rodriguez with the serve. It's good. A deep hit by Amanda Eden. A high ball from the setter. And doesn't get over the net. Substitution, number 17 for number one, Melissa Schaefer, who is in for the serve. Another substitution, number 11, Amanda Eden, for the number eight, Antoinette Alagbu. Schaefer with the serve. Nice dropping ball. It's converted over the net from Sierra Hunkins. Lands just 
inside the 10 foot line and the Lady Eagles have a hard time passing it up. Good serve by number one. Setter barely makes it in time to make the play. A quick set from number four, Melanie Palmer, to connect with number eight, Antoinette. Nicely positioned ball. Just found its way outside the corner. Schaefer with the serve again. Deep corner. Number one with the shank. Lady Cardinals try and retrieve the ball, try and give it some life. Number one with the deep corner again. This time resulting in a side out. And just like that, the score is seven to nine. Eagles are catching up. Timeout by the Lady e Cardinals. Excuse me. The Eagles now with new life. With their new server, number one. Melissa Schaefer seems to be giving the Eagles new hope coming out from that two to nine slump that we saw earlier. Good serve. High set for the right side. Just off the hands number eight, Antoinette. High ball for the pipe, number three. Sean alum. The Cardinals third ball falls just inside the middle of the court. Right at the end of the 10 foot line. A little bit of confusion for the Eagles. Number 11 for number two. Number 11, Nyla Holt, senior for Lawndale. Serve is good, finding its way to the back row. Melanie Palmer once again to find Keeley Stevenson with a good hit, retrieved by number 10. Another great hit. Solid hit for Keeley Stevenson. And the Cardinals can't defend it and hit it out of bounds. Number five, Sierra Hunkins with the serve. Floater, ball is just in the middle. Quick set to the right side. Number one with the up, only Palmer with the set. And Keely Stevenson finds that back corner which those Lady Eagles have been scoring most of their points on and makes the Cardinals pay for it. Sierra Hunkins, senior, trying to tie the game up. Falling serve for number 10, the Cardinals. Close set towards the net, makes it work. Ooh, a quick one for Antoinette. Set by Melanie Palmer, tipped right in the 10 foot line. Perfect, perfect positioning. Found the gap that nobody was tending to. And just like that, the score is tied, 10 apiece. Ooh, set over on two. High ball outside for Keely Stevenson. Sierra Hunkins tries to make, make the dig, but no Lady Eagles are around for the second hit. Substitution, Sierra Hunkins for number 40, Whitney Menesis going in for back row. Long serve with a good dig by number one. Nice quick set. And a killer hit for number 11 of Lawndale. Coming out of that back row and finding that left corner. The play was called out. Looked clean, but we might have to review the tapes after this. Keely Stevenson with a serve. Number one, Kylie Campos cannot defend the serve and it falls right off of her fingers, out of bounds. Keely Stevenson, deep serve. Number 14, 
over the net. Melanie Palmer tries to convert it for the free ball. Brilliant play. Antoinette with the block. Melanie Palmer with the dink. And a brilliantly executed play for the Eagles. who score on the run, 13 to 11. Aggressive front row, number eight. Owns the net. Deep serve, retrieved by number 13 of the Cardinals. Kelly Stevenson with a quick dig. Close, close hit towards the net, but Melanie Palmer, with her four years of varsity experience, makes that set work. Sets number eight, Antoinette, up for a nice one ball and finds its way in the gap. Another serve. Double is called for the Lady Cardinals. And an ace for Keeley Stevenson, resulting in a timeout, the second timeout for the Lady for the Cardinals. And the Eagles find themselves ahead 16 to 11. A pass that follows right at the tip of the net, resulting in no communication. And another point for the Eagles. Consistent serves coming from Keely Stevenson's. Number 14 sets it over on two. And Melanie Palmer finds number three, Sean Alum, freshman, on the outside for the nice tip. It makes the Cardinals pay for the gap that was open. Another deep serve from Keely Stevenson. It's like a down ball for the Cardinals. And Melanie Palmer with that number one. With that one ball that her and Antoinette have been connecting on all game. Nineteen to eleven. And another ace for Keeley Stevenson. Sophomore. That extra rotation that seems to be put on the ball has cost the Cardinals a few points and has been shanked out of bounds. Poor communication for the Cardinals. An outside set for a killer swing by number three. Sean Alum, nice assist from Melanie Palmer. Dropping serve coming, retrieved by number one. Once again gets the set from the right side. Sean Alum again. Number 11, Nyla Holt tries to save the ball, but is shanked out of bounds. Substitution number 11 for number two, Destiny Oconquo comes in for back row. Hopefully the Cardinals can stop Keely Stevenson from the run. And she serves new number two, Destiny Oconquo, and makes her pay. Third ace for Keeley Stevenson. Close set. Set for number 15, Brianna Kakoa, who had little to no chance of putting that ball into play after the tight set. High ball, 
and is put over on three in the deep corner. And only Palmer, the quick set, finds Sean Alum once again, which ends game number one in favor of the Lady Eagles, 25 to 11. Starting up the second game. After the Lady Eagles took advantage of the Cardinals' sloppy defense and won the first game. The Cardinals with the serve this time around. Number 15, Brianna Kakoa. Today's officiating, Barb Hornack on the stairs and James Sagawa on the left side. Lady Eagles take control of the ball quickly from an aggressive hit from the outside. Number six, Jennifer Stutzel with the serve. The tough serve, number 10, Maritza Rodriguez. Can't retrieve it and it falls right behind her. Another serve coming. Outside. Ricochet is off the top of the antenna, which means an out ball. A back serve for number 10, right off the fingertips of number 17 of the Eagles. And Jennifer Sutzel can't convert it for the Eagles. Number 10, Rodriguez for the Cardinals with the serve. Makes the first one drop. And a nailing serve, which is retrieved by Keely Stevenson over on one. And outside, outside attack for the Cardinals. That falls right through the hands of the Eagles blockers. Two to three. Rodriguez again with the nailing serve. Once again, Keely Stevenson falls for the dive. Three ball is over. Called aggressively, once again by Stevenson. Finds the right side, Sierra Hunkins. And once again, that poor communication. Ends up costing the Cardinals that point. Keely Stevenson with the serve. Falls right into the lap of number eight. An aggressive dig ball dug by number three, falling to the floor. Right side, nice swing, number 14. A quick one, but the middle, number two, Destiny Okonkwo makes him pay for that one that they've been running. But the Eagles convert after the free ball falls right in front of number 10, Rodriguez. Number one with the diving dig, retrieved straight up by Melanie Palmer. Poor communication, Melanie Palmer runs to hit the ball over on three in the deep corner. A good dig. By number six. And number three, Sean Alum, who's been on fire the first game, finds the ball just out. Substitution number two for number 11, Nyla Holt. Serve is out, barely nicks the top of the line of the net. Eagles convert. Servers number one, Melissa Schaefer. Ooh, and the Cardinals try and pull something out of nothing with a jungle ball that ends up not making it over the net. Number one with a deep serve again, 
retrieved by number one. Falls just outside. Schaefer with the deep serve. The Cardinals set it close to the net. Number 14, smart play. Sets it over. However, the Eagles convert with a nice down ball, landing right in front of number one, Campos. Schaefer with the serve again, with a good dig, sets the outside. Falls right off the fingertips of the block. Tries to retrieve it, but can't do so. Number 14 with the serve, Jillian Kakoa. Good up. And Melanie Palmer finds number eight, Antoinette, for the one ball again. Looks like she's going to set outside. She does. Finds Marlish. Sean Alum, pardon, but is blocked and falls right outside the 10 foot line. So the Cardinals, with a run of their own, have scored a few points from number 14. Kakua brings a tough serve again. Dug by Keeley Stevenson. Tooled by number eight, Antoinette, off of the hands of the blocker for the Cardinals. Number three, Sean Alum for the serve. Good dropping ball. Number 11 brings it back to the front of the court. Looks like a an aggressive hit by number six, Jennifer Stutzel. The Cardinals defense shifted all the way over to the right side and Stutzel found that opening on the gap on the left side where nobody was and attacked it. A good up by number 10, but resulting in a close, a close up, the setter had no choice, but ran into the net. Number one with the serve. Rather, number three with the serve. 14, down ball. Keely Stevenson dives to bring it up. And once again, another aggressive hit. This time, falls out of bounds. Short serve by number one, Kaylee Campos. And it looks like we're gonna have a substitution. Number eight for number 11. Antoinette Alogbo for Amanda Eden. The good serve, a low set. And number 10 makes it work. Number 14 dives to try and make the set work but falls just short of the net. So Amanda Eden gains a point for the Eagles. Number eight finds a spot, sets the ball over. Another aggressive hit by number six. Number 14 tries to make the set work, but number eight, Felina Herrera can't get to the ball in time. A twisting serve by Amanda Eden. And the Cardinals bring it over on three. A pipe hit and falls inside the line. Number three. While the Cardinals stood around trying to see if it would fall outside, but it did not, and they paid for it. Man Eden with the serve again. Number 11, Nyla Holt running to make the play work. And just as in the first game, it looks like the Eagles are finding their runs off of these serves and the Cardinals just cannot convert. Number 14 with the offset. Nice hit for number 12 on the back. Once again, Jennifer, S Jennifer Stutzel attacking that outside resulting in a timeout for the Lawndale Cardinals, bringing the score 18 to six.
in the second game. After the timeout, Amanda Eden back for the serve. With a dig from number 10. And a side out after the Eagles can't communicate. Leaving setter Melanie Palmer without the second pass. So number eight with the serve, barely hits the top of the net, rolls over for the outside, Jennifer Stutzel off the fingertips of number two, the middle. A falling set for number two. And number 15 saw the opportunity and attacked that corner, beautiful shot. Number eight, Felina Herrera with the serve again. The pipe set by Melanie Palmer for Sean Alum. And number eight trying to make the ball work, but it doesn't have enough and falls just short. Substitution. Number five for number one, Sierra Hunkins. Now taking advantage of the front row for the Eagles. Melanie Palmer with a good serve. And number 10 with the aggressive hit for the angle shot. Number 14 with the double, Jillian Kakua. Looked like she was running to try and make the pass work and could not. A close set for the Cardinals. It falls inside the 10 foot line for the Eagles who converted it back over. An aggressive hit for number 15, Kakua. Sets up the A ball, Palmer. That falls just outside the line. Number 15, Kakua. Cannot make the serve. So 21 to 10, number six, Jennifer Stutzel with the serve. Good connection. Number two set just a little far back for the Cardinals. And a beautiful dig by number one for the Cardinals, Campos. But nobody was there for that second hit. Beautiful one on that first play that started it off though for the Eagles. 14 outside, finds the angle. Too much of an angle and falls outside the antenna. Resulting in game point for the Eagles. 24 to nine. Jennifer Stutzel with a serve. Number one with a close ball to the net who cannot convert it. Twenty-five to nine. Final score of the second game. We go into the third. Starting the third game, the Eagles are already up two to zero. Melanie Palmer starts off the serve, but the Cardinals convert it. And after a close set, Stutzel, number six, can't play it off the net due to a, a net call on the Cardinals. So the outside ball for the Cardinals. An aggressive hit for number six who finds that back row connection that she's been finding all game. Melanie Palmer with that nice dink to keep the ball alive, puts the ball in play. Number 15 with the serve, deep serve, retrieved by Libero, Keely Stevenson. Finds a deep ball from Stutzel. Falls just off the hands of number 44, who brought it down with her. Looked like the ball had a chance. Number three digs the ball. Number 44 falls just outside. 
Number 44, Jacqueline Tuliki Hihifo, new to the court. Tries her hand. Jennifer Stutzel on the right side. And a short ball for the Cardinals. Number 15 sets up the one ball for number two. And number 14 trying to make that close pass work. Jillian Kakua cannot. Fifteen with the outside pass, outside set for number fourteen who cannot make the hit over. All tied up at three to three. Jennifer Stutzel keeping the aggression up and is attacking that that back row. Number three with the dig. After number. Six, Stutzel with the diving play. And the Eagles win the point. After diving plays for the Eagles, they end up winning the point. Finds the left side of the court. Number 15 with the back set, impressive back set. And number three, Sean Alum, who goes up for the block, brings it down with her resulting in a side out. Four to four, number 10, Maritza Rodriguez for the serve. Close, close ball for number six, Stutzel falls just inside the 10 foot line for the Cardinals who cannot retrieve and make the play and end up costing another side out. Another substitution, Amanda Eden in for Sierra Hunkins for the serve. Falls just short off the bench. Trading points now, five for five. Number two for the serve, Destiny Okonkwo. In a falling serve, number three is there. And a misread play for the middle results in a dink. That falls just in the lap of number 10 who tries to convert it but hits it out of bounds. Another substitution, 44. Tuliki Hihifo for number one, Melissa Schaefer. Number six with a dig. Palmer with a set. And finally Lum with the aggressive outside and the Cardinals cannot defend it. Number one with a floater serve again to the back set. Number six once again with the diving dig misread by the front row, resulting in a side out. Number 14, Jillian Kekua up for the serve. Well read by the Eagles, falls out of bounds. Number three, Sean Alum for the serve. Number 15 brings it back into play, tipped off of the hands. Number eight brings it back for Jennifer Stetzel who finds it right off the hands of the Cardinal blockers and falls right in the middle of the court. Number three with the floater serve again. Setzel tips it back into play. And a quick dig by number eight who brings it for Stetzel for the kill. And Palmer finds that one ball that she loves. Number one brings it back into play. Number 10, a spectacular play for the Cardinals. Gives life to the Cardinals. A well-read tip, and Sean Alum aggressively hits the pipe ball. Over, looks like a net's gonna be called. And there is one. 
a long rally played by both teams, ending in the net of number 14. Ball looked clearly in, however, is called out. Number one with the serve, Kaylee Campos. Amanda Eden, the high ball, who sets number one. Number three with a diving dig who finds Stetzel in that outside who punishes the Cardinals, resulting in a shank off the back row. Number four, once again looking to serve. Another substitution will be called though. Number one, Melissa Schaefer for number 44. Jacqueline Tuliki Hihifo for the front row. Palmer finds that deep corner. Number 10 goes up for the kill, but is blocked by number four, right off the bench, Tuliki Hihifo. That aggressive front row. Palmer with the serve, well read by number one, tipped over by number 15, Kakua. Over on one for the Cardinals. The one ball, number eight finds the connection. and is definitely finding her groove. The Lady Eagles seem to be rolling on all cylinders right now as their hitting could not be better. Floater off hands number 10, brought back into play. Outside ball for the aggressive Stetzel off the hands number eight for the Cardinals, Herrera. resulting in a timeout for the Cardinals. 14 to seven in favor of the Eagles. Coming in from the timeout, Melanie Palmer once again with a serve. Number 10 with a dig. Number 14 brings it to the back row. Number 11 with a nice high ball. Over on one for the Cardinals, a close pass. Melanie Palmer plays it beautifully off the net. And number eight finally ends the Eagles' run of serves with a nice dropping ball that falls right over the 10-foot line. Eight to 14, in favor of the Eagles. Number eight serves Stetzel, puts it over on one. The short set for number two sets the one ball and finds a connection in the back row. An outside hit. Number 44. Beautiful play by the Cardinals. They seem to have, they seem to have been mastering those plays throughout the games. Aggressive block by number 15, Brianna Kakoa, leaves the ball just outside. Stutzel with the serve. Number one pops it straight up for number 10. With a down ball that leaves it just outside. Sixteen to ten in favor of the Eagles. Stutzel again with the serve. This time is called in within inches of the line. Cardinals defense is stunned. It's 
Seems to be some sort of out of rotation for the Eagles. The two officiators, Barb Hornack and James Sagawa, talk things over. After much deliberation, number six back again for the serve. Score remains the same, 17-10. And hopefully she thinks she can try and catch the Cardinals off guard. And she doesn't. Number 14 with the outside hit in the deep corner. Looks like the Eagles were unprepared after that long pause. Another substitution, number six for number 40, Whitney Menises. Number 15, trying to make some, trying to make some magic work. A high set from the back row, Sierra Hunkins. And a ball that's just outside for number three, Sean Alum. 15 again with the serve. Falls once again, Sierra Hunkins. Melanie Palmer sets the A ball, and it falls right over the 10 foot line for Sean Alum. 10 hitting the antenna, out ball. Cannot convert the point. Keely Stevenson comes off the bench as libero. For number eight, Antoinette Alugbu. Once again, James Sagawa conferring with the scorebooks and the rotation sheet, checking to see if the Eagles are in fact in the right place. Another pause on the game. After a very confusing out of rotation run by the Eagles, they finally seem to be settling down and see if they can try and wrap up this third game out of five. And a long ball by number 10, Maritza Rodriguez, gives the ball right back to the Eagles. So number one comes off the bench, Melissa Schaefer, ready for the serves. Her serves have been aggressive and well positioned throughout the whole game, resulting in many runs that help the Eagles win their first two games. Once again, for the third time, seems both referees can't decide if they like their calls or not. More deliberation about an out of rotation play. And so finally, number one comes up with a serve off of the pause. 15, who sets up number, number one on the outside. Number 15 with the back set, who sets up number 14, falls right in between number 40 and libero, Keely Stevenson. Lawndale Cardinals regain possession of the ball. Number two with the serve. Short ball, doesn't make it over the net. Substitution number 40 for number six. He's been on fire this whole game. Jennifer Stutzel coming in as the outside hitter for number 40, Whitney Menises. It's number, thir number three, Sean Alum with the serve. Number 14 tries to attack the ball, but doesn't get it over the net as it travels from right to left and falls back on their side. Number four, Melanie Palmer with a nice set. Sets number six, Jennifer Stutzel, who positions the ball beautifully in the back row. Number three, once again, Sean Alum with the serve. The floater, which number 11 poorly passes. 
resulting in Keely Stevenson's diving play. And Jennifer Stutzel with the cross-court attack. She has been unstoppable this whole game. Lawndale Cardinals blocking just can't touch her, and the defense can't do it likewise. Nice floater. Number 15 with a back set. Number 14 to Keely Stevenson. One ball, connection from Melanie Palmer to number eight, Antoinette Alugbu, who hits it inside of the 10-foot line, straight down. And once again, the Eagles find themselves in a very familiar game point. And it looks like they will take the victory versus the Lawndale Cardinals as the, as the serve drops. And number one passes to the back row. Number 15 for the outside. Q Stevenson, libero, with a straight up ball. Number one converts to the back row. Number three with a good dig. Melanie Palmer with the short set. And Jennifer Stutzel converts with a nice down ball, finding nobody on the right side. And that will do it. 25 to 14. The Lady Eagles take the Lawndale Cardinals in three games. Once again, this is the last Lady Eagles home game. And traditional senior varsity game. So congratulations to the Eagles. I'm Ryan Rojas for Oscono Community Cable. Good night.